Hey, how's it going? Uh, we are uh, just quick uh, recap on uh, week uh, 115. Uh, it was overall great week. I had the uh, chance to complete uh, many different things. Uh, as always, I wish I have done more, but uh, yeah, uh, it's a lot of <laughs> currently. Just to put everything in motion, I guess, just get, get the things rolling. Uh, I would spend so much time reading different documents and trying to understand everything. Uh, having meetings that not really go anywhere to the most part other than one person, usually the administration staff, would say that I need to speak with another person. <laughs> he would introduce me to another person. And that person would introduce me to another person. So yeah, so I guess... That's all of my week. Uh, either way, either way, let's go to week 16, uh, this current week, and what we are planning of accomplishing this week. Uh, there's uh, two uh, funding opportunities available. That would be on 15 and 17. Uh, both of those are grant funding. Uh, one is for autonomous uh, driving vehicles, 100% funding, as well as for uh, radiation filters. So I'm trying to understand both of these opportunities. Both of these opportunities are being funded, which would be great to solve for one of those problems. Other than that, I have uh, another meeting with SAA about the legal framework, as well as uh, later today I have another meeting. Uh, and I'm looking to secure uh, partnership with uh, different universities when it comes to uh, accomplishing future projects. So it's okay, I guess we're getting that. Today I would like to continue the series that I have started yesterday. I have covered the, uh, five different areas yesterday and today I have to cover another four. If anything, perhaps uh, a <laughs> good thing to do, perhaps proper introduction uh, to the company. Uh, who offers us uh, uh, a lot of uh, different uh, support opportunities available for any business, right? So if you yourself looking to establish business or tackle, if not new, perhaps uh, uh, emerging markets or something that uh, your current products or services that you do offer, you're looking to improve existing uh, products uh, emerging. But always, you, you should yourself get in the habit of constantly reinventing yourself, right, when it comes to uh, going going over the hurdles, uh, tackling new problems, uh, looking for new opportunities, right? Uh, if anything, that should be a note to myself. <laughs> only, only one person I can actually control, right, other than uh bothering other people right <laughs> but either way let's cover a little bit uh, more detail what catapult is within this video i'm gonna be taking this information from the company's website about uh, the company itself and perhaps some of the good things or projects they have accomplished so far I have scrolled over uh, before, or perhaps. Uh, I don't know if these people want to be mentioned, <laughs> and sometimes they might uh, come in on some of those uh, boards and leave for whatever reason, right? So perhaps um, without mentioning any names, but overall activities and what this company is set up to, to do, if anything, perhaps that could be beneficial for the company itself as well as people ha who haven't heard about this company. The Catapult Network supports businesses in transforming great ideas into valuable products and services. We are a network of world-leading technology and innovation centers established by Innovate UK. We deliver, I'm not entirely sure if Innovate, I, I believe that Innovate UK is non-profit and I'm not entirely sure how uh, Catapult is funded. I think it's non-profit and it's partially funded by the government, but I'm not entirely sure how much uh, we're talking of partially, right? <laughs> uh, there's uh, so many different companies that I could cover. 
Uh, I spoke to a number of uh, representatives from different companies. I'm not entirely sure, but that should be, if anything, where everyone should start, right? So why that's important, right? So if uh, any companies that you would reach out to are funded by different businesses, perhaps they might be, for example, right, my entering different agreements where they would not necessarily be interested in supporting the same businesses, if that makes sense. <laughs> That's because of competition with the different markets, right? If it's uh, funded by government, right? Then it would be with the interest of the government to set up as many different businesses with the different areas as possible, I guess. So it could reduce costs for government in uh, bringing value to its customers. And that should be like common sense approach of what government should strive to achieve. <laughs> But uh, how well uh, some of the people can operate when it comes to as well as reducing any friction when it comes to people reaching out to some of those organizations <laughs> and some of those professionals of that. There can be 20 years of uh, knowledge of expertise within the industry, right? So someone it would reach out to <laughs> and say hi, I want to do something. <laughs> Perhaps that would be not the best or wise use of that person's time, right? <laughs> so they might direct you to one person, that person might direct you to another person, and all that jazz, right? So not necessarily. <laughs> the process itself uh, can be very complicated, but I don't want to... Perhaps I would like to increase number of people who would be interested in reaching out some of those uh, government institutions seeking for support. I don't, I don't want to be the one who would say it's a hard thing to do, but either way. We deliver impact across the United Kingdom's economy, enabling business to thrive in the global markets. So it's something that they do and it's something that they're looking to achieve. Catapult provides business with access to their expertise and facilities, enabling them to test, demonstrate and improve their ideas by fostering collaboration between industry, government, research organizations, academia, and many other fields, right? Depending on the project, again, so if anything, they would like you to reach out to them, and perhaps if anything, if it's something new that you haven't done before, they, uh, to say the least, my guide to through the process of how to do it, right? Something like uh, technology readiness levels and where you or everyone would begin, and from there, you need to go all the way to perhaps level nine, if that's possible, right? And how to make profit and run business, if anything. The uh, process itself, well, hopefully, <laughs> most of the people understand it or done enough research to understand it. But either way, <laughs> catapults are helping to create the best environment for innovation. Catapults work with the small, medium, and large businesses to understand the challenges they face and support them in the development of solutions that will help improve business performance. Hopefully, so there should be one of those areas that we're talking about innovation. You yourself, when it comes to products and services, you constantly should be looking at that, uh, at least. <laughs> it can be challenging uh, when it comes to resources and what will be required of you, right? But either way, so that should be if you would like to stay in the market with whatever products services you offer you should be looking at it innovation let's take a look at some of the numbers perhaps that's one way to look at it well, that would be over eighteen thousand of industry collaborations so that would be a lot of projects right so a lot of people are looking to challenge uh, uh, new industries that will bring the ideas to the market as well as uh, mass supported, so uh, small to medium sized enterprises or large, perhaps even large enterprises. So that would be over 11,000, right? As well as academic collaborations, that would be over 5,000. As well as employed in 2022, that would be over 5,000. These numbers are not necessarily very accurate. If anything, that, that would be just more of understanding that this company is doing something, <laughs> perhaps doing a lot of good things, if you haven't had a chance to do anything with them together, right? Over 3.3 .3 billion uh, of pounds uh, uh, of research and demonstration facilities under management. So they currently asset size perhaps. 
facilities just one way to measure that and perhaps uh, facilities equipment and perhaps uh, so this is how much if anything capital was tied in <laughs> hard cash is in the stored of value right either way international projects if uh, they had uh, even uh, expertise in uh, doing some of the international projects that would be over 1000 of those completed perhaps so there's a lot of potential there uh, with market shifting if you like to learn more i have uh, published a book project fitball within this book i'm sharing a lot of information with all the people who like to learn more about the body i think uh, about your body that would be in particular perhaps it is when it comes to uh, food uh, uh, to be used as energy when it comes to perhaps working out or their spirit so that would be perhaps three different areas worth taking a look at when it comes to making sure that your body is performing very well <laughs> or if you are if anything perhaps you don't care that much about that would you perhaps care more about longevity or perhaps your lifespan or perhaps uh, the way how you feel within your body uh, we can start with some of, <laughs> some of the basic areas right and work from those but either way there's a lot of information in this book i'm looking to share that with as many people as i can I'm not being funded by these organizations, perhaps I should, but either way, <laughs> let's uh, summarize this video with some of the work and perhaps reasoning why anyone would be interested in reaching out to this organization, right? The Catapult Network helps business realize their potential, seize the right opportunities and grow their innovative capabilities. Working with national and or international partners, Catapult to risk the commercialization of new products or services, getting them to the market faster. If anything, I'm not entirely sure about the level. If I need to uh, perhaps give an example, right? So if you were wet or you might, you might be interested in developing a new drink, there's a lot of opportunities up there within different markets. If you do enough research, you will understand what kind of drink I'm talking about. <laughs> Perhaps currently in some parts of the world there is a new drink, or not necessarily in Europe or UK, right? Perhaps there's some uh, legal <laughs> risk of having this kind of drink, so I'm not here to share some ideas there. But even that, there's a lot of opportunities there, and perhaps uh, reaching out. So if I need to put everything, CBD, uh, CBD drink, right? Let's say I'm not, but if I were interested in developing that like perhaps i would reach out to this organization and say and ask them if it's something that they're interested to working together with me and developing this drink and what will be the process and where should we begin and everything that's just an example right but a uh, burnout uh, <laughs> example right so this is not something that i'm interested in i do understand this industry very well and how to develop this or similar projects uh, from uh, idea phase all the way to release to the market since I understand it process uh, can reach out to this organization and perhaps collaborate and work together when it comes to uh, developing some of those projects but either way this video is already too long <laughs> so either way access to world-class unique uh, research and development infrastructure expertise uh, and capabilities chart services providers tailored to your needs, test and demonstration environment in the real world conditions and development in uh, innovative solutions to accelerate commercializations and value chains. Uh, small to medium sized uh, enterprises tailored support to help address systematic barriers, de risk innovation, access to finance, and scale up. Collaboration and partnerships uh, when building on research and development funding programs. Bringing business, academia, service providers, regulators, and <laughs> regulators, right? So if it's something, <laughs> I'm just using this as, a, as an example, right? But if you were to do it, why nobody else is doing it, right? So perhaps are there any legal framework that you would need to know? If it's something that you yourself might be interested in, what would be perhaps unit parts? How the, all these numbers you would need to find out <laughs> for yourself as well as what are your barriers of entry, right? So that would be if it's something that you might be interested in. But again, that's just an example, right? And users and other key players together to address common 
challenges in innovation systems. If it's something new that you yourself you might be interested in doing, perhaps there's some, some reasoning for legal barriers, perhaps there's some pushback, there's a lot of stigma of doing it. <laughs> they, uh, His Majesty, <laughs> he already announced it, something about cigarettes, right, or vapes or something, right? Perhaps there's a similar <laughs> announcement going to be next year about <laughs> CBD drinks <laughs> and all your business would go bust. So I'm not promoting anything. Uh, don't hold me legally accountable if His Majesty next year would say that we cannot sell CBD drinks. But either way, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.